All right, guys, welcome back to the LCR Performance Channel. Uh, today we're going to be building the diff for the Challenger. And uh, yeah, so we'll just go over kind of the parts that we got for it. So I think, I don't even know what housing this is. This came with the project from the other shop. Uh, looks to be whatever, just a stamp steel housing from like Strange or Mosher or whatever. So just a 50 inch, no, 60 inch housing. And then these are our four link brackets that we designed and then welded up here in house. So this is all just, um, yeah, doubled up, just mostly for style and whatnot, just for looks, because this is more a show car than, uh, than a race car. So, yeah, so these guys are gonna get welded on here for the four link, and then we're using just this aluminum housing for mock-up, and then we got a nodular steel one coming with the gear set all pre-done from either Mosher or Strange, whoever we go with here. But uh, yeah, and then just for fit up here, and for final assembly on this diff, we're gonna be using we like to use these in the shop, came across them a couple years ago and they are just like the best thing for these nine inches, the lube locker uh, gaskets. They're reusable gaskets, so if you pull the, the center section out, you don't have to clean your schmoo off the mounting flanges and then re schmoo and put it back in. It just saves so much time and headache and cleanup. It's just in and out and in and out just as many times like as you feel comfortable, as long as you don't uh, tear the gasket. So yeah, going forth, we're gonna be cutting the diff down, welding on our brackets. We got a pan bar bracket we gotta put on this thing. And uh, we'll be going through that with using the Mittler Brothers diff alignment tool setup. So yeah, here we go. That'll be about a thousand. All right, so just wrapping up the drawing here for the diff before we start cutting. Uh, so I'd like to go over everything just before. Since we have it sketched on the computer, it's just easier to make a computer drawing for it than whatever hand measurements, because it was all figured out beforehand, so. All right, so I've got the diff laid out here from our drawing, and uh, it's pretty basic but we'll just go over it because you know some people like to learn how to weld this kind of stuff. So we got the centering jig in here from Mittler Brothers, just bolted into the two studs here that it lines up with. And then from the side with the arrow, measure out, that's our zero point, our datum. So I'll measure out here. And on the drawings, I got the bracket and I got the panar bar bracket and then I got my cut line on this side. So everything's dialed in. We're gonna be cutting out about five inches of axle tube here. And then, uh, yeah, so going forward, just use a tube wrap around for marking, just so you get a nice square line around the whole thing. And then when we go to cut these ends off, I'm just gonna follow my blade on the outside, on this side of this line. And, uh, and we should be able to follow it around and the tube will be very close to square. Sustain a beating because I gave it to it on Monday, yeeting oh. it across the shop. <laughs> Needed a little mod here. It's got this nice screw, but she's dialed in. Anyways, <laughs> we're just getting our brackets uh, paralleled up here and then kind of squared to the table as well. It's nice having a fixture bench like this to where we can trust it for square and whatnot. It's getting kind of old, so whatever. It still works good. So yeah, we just lined it up with the back edge here on these brackets, and then we squared the brackets to the straight edge. And then yeah, we set our pinion angle. Pinion angle's one and a half degrees up to kind of match our drivetrain angle. We can still play with that with the four bars, uh, but it's close enough. So yeah, we're gonna be getting into finish tacking all this. Finish tacking the, actually no, I'm gonna weld the four link bracket on first before you put the pattern bar mount, but yeah, so here we go.
So we got it, this, the brackets tacked up onto here. So I'm just gonna go over why we're doing it the way that we are. So the brackets, everything, everything has been tigged on here. So what we're gonna be doing is just single pass tigging this uh, bracket setup to the axle tube. And then the same with the pan arbor mount. Now that's just basically strictly because this has been tigged, even though we got a MIG welded housing. We just like doing our best work. And then as for the axle ends, I haven't made up my mind yet. A lot of guys just MIG weld this. It would be easier, honestly, to MIG weld this, but you know, I don't particularly like picking the easy route just to pick the easy route. So we haven't made my mind up yet on these. So you'll see that in the future of what I decide. But MIG welding, we just single pass MIG, no bevel on here because it's got a nice register there. Um, but if we do TIG weld it, it'll be a double pass TIG weld. So yeah, we're gonna get into welding these brackets now. All right, we back in business. Mm. Uh, four leg brackets, welded completely around. So last thing to do before we weld the ends on is uh, get the panar bar mounted. So we just got our, based on our drawing, how high off the ground. How I have the bottom of the bracket there. Made a nice wood block, you know. Sometimes I'm a carpenter. Wouldn't claim to be though. Pretty crappy with wood. Anyways, you're just gonna get this welded on. It's ends time and the diff's gonna be done. Here we go. Okay, and uh, action. <laughs> Oh, that was so lame! I went to rip this thing and it's just, whatever. Oh, for shit's sake. Cut. Anyways, never mind. Leave that in there. And, oh, the lube blocker has entered the chat. Uh, which way does it go, Lucas? The lube blocker goes forward, I think, right? It legit says right on it. C900. It should say on it. Yeah, it should say on it. Mm, whatever, it's gonna fit like this, and we're dialed. That's what I put it on. Oh, baby. Okay, so now most guys will tell you when they're building a diff, the gasket is important to have in there. Uh, since this is my first one, I'm not gonna say anything against that, but really, based on the spline fitment and stuff, and like the tolerances you have, to me it really would only make sense in like a full floater application, but, uh, you know, don't quote me on that because, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, we're going to put the lube locker in, and then uh, we've got the alignment pucks in the center section. And we're going to put the center section in, bolt her down, tighten it up, and then slide the alignment bar through and put the ends on. All right, we're back. Anyways, we missed a step because we had some visitors in the shop, but that is fine because we got the uh, turned ground and polished shaft inserted here through the pucks in the center section. And then uh, you slide the pucks on with the big Ford ends, level the big Ford ends this way. And then now we're just doing our four corner tacks. So just opposite each other all the way across, get it squared. And then what we're gonna do is just weld in quarters the whole way around. So we're gonna be using 45 thou TIG rod. I think the machine's set to like 170 amps. I have no idea how much of that we're using. But uh, yeah, we're pretty close to being done with this thing besides details like brake lines and you know, crap like that. So let's continue. All right, so we finished welding the flanges on, uh, sort of, because what I'm gonna go back and do is actually cap this root that I put in here, just to give it you know, more meat, tie in a little bit more. Uh, it's just more of a peace of mind thing, I'm quite honest, I have no idea if it's gonna be too much or not enough, so. You two pass everything that you figure you, know, you might, uh, might want to pass. 
you know, some people would take this and then just MIG over it, which is an acceptable way to do it too. Gives it a good cap and then you can rotate the housing as you're MIGging so you can get the whole thing at once. But uh, we're just going to continue TIGging because I like TIG welding and uh, yeah, basically everything we've done on this car has been TIG so far. So here we go. Okay. All right, it was a successful day today. Ended up getting this thing fully banged out. So our housing ends, two pass welded, panel bar mount, core link mounts, everything is beautiful, exactly where it is. Alignment tool were perfect, but uh, right now, axle ends are still a little warm, that's why everything's still together. But tomorrow morning I'm gonna come in, take the alignment bar out, and then take the center section out, and we'll have a finished housing here. Ready to order up axle shafts and uh, center section, complete bolt-in unit. So that's great. This car is making some good progress here as we go forward. So I just want to say thank you very much for your support for the LCR channel here. And we look forward to having you guys you know, with us along the journey. Just want to say uh, drop a like for this video if you learn anything. Um, learn how to build a 9-inch or anything but yeah like the video subscribe to our channel follow along with the build on this the resurrection challenger as we go forth this year and uh yeah if you got anything any questions drop them below in the comments and we'll be happy to answer them for you so once again just thank you and uh, we'll see you next week